organic learning. Today, we are doing a very special fire trucks episode. Woo! Woo! Yeah! And before we start, we want to give a very special shout out to Matthew in Portland, Oregon. Matthew is a really big fan. He's two years old and he watches our show with his mom every night before bedtime. Oh, that's really awesome, Matthew. Great job. All right, you guys, let's jump right in. Let's do it. Oh yeah, great way to kick off today's fire truck episode. This is a fire truck. <laughs> of course it is, that's our theme today. It's got flashing red lights, loud sirens, and of course fire trucks help people in danger. Fire trucks are as big as a school bus. They carry hoses and ladders and everything rescuers need to put out fires and to keep us safe. Now this particular one is really great. It's a 1975 Mack CF Pumper. Now these pumper trucks are great for fires in remote locations where there aren't any accessible fire hydrants. Firefighters will actually hook up hoses to the truck and put out those fires. Now this part here in the middle is called the pump panel. And you've got two black water pipes right here on the side. And then whoop, on the other side, you can see that's where you store the ladder. That's pretty cool. Now on top are two reels of hoses, which you can kind of see right there. Those unravel, they can put out the fire with those. And then of course, they got the water gun or the cannon right there on the top and they spray it on that fire, you guys. Pretty great. It sprays at a rate of about a thousand gallons per minute via that deck gun right on top, which is pretty aggressive stuff. And this thing will hold 500 gallons of water. Now check out the colors on this, you guys. This is really cool. Oh, oh I like that Mac right there on the grill. And I love the gold and kind of the red. It's a real retro feel. Look at that, company number 33. Great stuff, you guys. This is a fire truck. Oh yeah, I am digging on this next one, you guys. This is a ladder truck. Whoa! And I will give you one guess as to why this is called a ladder truck. Psst, psst, right here. It's because there's a giant ladder on the back. <laughs> you guys knew that. Now, this is a specialized truck found in the fire department, used in cities with taller buildings so that these ladder trucks can actually reach people who may be stuck or in trouble. Now, most ladder trucks can reach up to 10 floors, which is the equivalent to about a 100 foot ladder. Whoa, that is really high. Now, this one looks to be about 75 feet, which is still very impressive. And we're gonna go ahead and extend this bad boy. Beep. Not done yet. Beep. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> wow, and check it out. This is called a turntable ladder. It gives it a lot of flexibility to just rotate all the way around. Whoa, coming at you there, folks. That is really, really cool stuff. Now, this particular ladder truck doesn't look like it has any water on board, so we definitely need to hook up to a fire hydrant in order to get water and help put out any fires. Love the really, really big windshield right here in front. That makes sure that the driver can actually see very well and get to the fire just as quickly as possible. This, you guys, is a ladder truck. Wow, gang, look at this next one. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> this thing is pretty wild. This is a ventilation fire truck. That's right, I mean, this thing is crazy. It's like from the future or something. Well, this is part of the fire department, but this one doesn't actually spray water. Instead, it blows air with this giant fan right here on the back. Yeah, this is used for structures like homes, office building, warehouses, that still have lots of smoke in them after the fire is put out. Now, the truck will actually back right up to the structure turn on its giant fan and then blow all of that air into the structure and therefore blowing all the smoke right out. Really great. As soon as all the smoke is out, the firefighters can take off their respirators and better see what fire damage has actually occurred. I mean, check this out, you guys. Can you imagine turning this on and like, I don't know, drying your hair one night? 
Oh, I'm just gonna dry my hair. Okay, turn it on. Wow! I think it would blow you right out of the house. That's crazy stuff. And this is a ventilation fire truck. Whoa, check out our next one, you guys. This thing is pretty crazy. I'm gonna explain. This is a hazmat truck. Oh yeah, check this out. I'll give you a little 360 here. Now, just like the SWAT team is a special division of the police force, hazmat is a special division of the fire department. Now, hazmat actually stands for hazardous materials. And if you look at it right here on the side, H-A-Z, that's for hazardous, M-A-T for materials, and this is the hazmat team, you guys. Now, if there's been a, a chemical spill or a really bad fire in a dangerous area, the hazmat team will assist and lead in the containment to make sure that all residents and property are safe. Let's say maybe there's been a, a tanker truck filled with oil and it spills all over the highway. Well, the hazmat team will show up it has a bunch of, you know, very specific supplies that will clean up all that oil, you know, get it off the highway and make sure that no one has to inhale any toxic fumes and that cars and trucks can continue to drive on that highway without having to worry about slipping and sliding all over the place. The men and women of the hazmat team are incredibly brave because they never know what they're going to encounter. Very cool stuff and this, you guys, is a hazmat truck. Oh yes, very excited about this next one, you guys, very excited. Would you check out who we have here? Whoopank, it's Red. Oh yeah, Red from the Disney Cars movie. Hey Red, how you doing today? Well, I'm doing very well and thank you for having me. Oh Red, please, the, the pleasure is all ours. We're just honored to have you. Anytime, anytime, great seeing everyone. Now Red here is a very shy, emotional, and incredibly friendly fire truck who lives in a firehouse and of course, you got it you guys, Radiator Spring says right there on the side. Now, whether it's putting out a tire fire or caring for a garden of beautiful flowers, Red is always ready to support and protect his beloved town. Now, just so you guys know, Red takes negative comments about his hometown very personally, so you better think twice before saying anything kind of negative about Radiator Springs. Isn't that right, Red? Oh, yes. Please don't say anything negative. That wouldn't be nice. I only like positive comments. <laughs> hey, anytime, Red. I love Radiator Springs. Now, as you can see, Red here has shiny, silvery detail all over him, including his really cool water cannon right there on top. He also has black water pipes, two right there, and he's got two right there. And of course, check this out, his pump panel, he's got water and pressure gauges all over. I mean, this thing is loaded up, Red. I think you got all the bells and whistles, no pun intended. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I see the little joke you made there. Oh, thank you very much. Now, Red here actually resembles a Maxi series pumper fire truck from the 1960s. Very classy, Red. Well, thank you. And again, great to see everybody. Ah, you're the best. This, you guys, is Red. Oh boy, we've got another great one up next, you guys. Another friend of the show is here and check it out. Whoop whoop, it's Frank. Hey pal, Frank from Tayo, the Little Bus TV series. What's going on, buddy? Well, I'm just having a great time. Happy to be here with all my fellow fire trucks. Woohoo! Oh man. Frank is pretty fired up. Uh-oh, you get it? Fired up, fire trucks. Yeah, we get it. Nice joke, buddy. Okay, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> now, Frank is a brave red fire truck with a strong sense of justice. He's always prepared to do his job and takes his job and responsibilities very seriously. Frank can shoot water straight into the fire with his powerful water cannon. See it right there on the top? He also has a really long ladder for people to climb onto and escape a fire. Check this out. I'll extend it, you guys, watch. Whoa, and he can rotate it. Go ahead, Frank. Okay, here goes. Whoa, that is really, really cool stuff. Whenever and wherever there's a fire, you can find Frank on the scene putting it out. Now, Frank has loud sirens so you can hear him from far away. 
When you hear Frank's sirens, be sure to pull over and let him pass so he can quickly arrive on the scene, save people, and put out that fire. Frank, as always, an honor having you, and we appreciate all your hard work. It's my pleasure, and I love putting out fires and helping people out. Oh man, you're so cool. This, you guys, is Frank. Whoa, <laughs> wow. This next one, man, this is pretty heavy. This thing is built like a tank. Well, this is a fire engine. And check out all the great details on this particular fire engine. Now, this one appears to be a more modern pumper fire truck. Now, the shiny part right here is called the pump panel. It has lots of water pressure gauges, knobs, valves, and fire hose connectors. Now, this type of truck is perfect for fire that's in a remote location where no fire hydrant is accessible. Now, the firefighters will hook up hoses to the truck and put that fire out just as quick as they can. Now, it has water pipes, as you can see, stored right here on the side. There's three of them, and this thing can pump 1,000 250 gallons of water per minute. Whoa, that's a lot of water. And it can actually hold a thousand gallons in the tank right there. You can see it's got a ladder here on the, on the right side. It's got a lot of really cool chrome and shiny knobs and levers. Lots of supplies over here. Looks like it's fire engine number 81. And of course, you ever have an emergency, you dial 911 and they will come and help you out. Looks like Tonka made this one, and Tonka, of course, makes some of the best toy cars and trucks out there, you guys. <laughs> this one is really spectacular, and this is a fire engine. Okay, you guys, this next one is nothing short of amazing. This is a wildfire truck. Woohoo! Look at this thing. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Now this wildfire truck is great at doing one thing. I'm gonna give you one guess. That's right, putting out wildfires. Now this one's very cool because it's kind of like a tank and that you're fully protected and can actually drive right next to the fire. Now it has narrow and flexible axles. The axles are right here on the bottom, which gave it, give it great accessibility to all different areas. It has full-time four-wheel drive. It can actually adjust the tire pressure to accommodate any type of road condition. It even holds a thousand gallons of water. That's right, and comes with hoses to spray out those fires. Now, inside the truck, the operators and drivers actually look at a monitor, several monitors, which control water hoses, which sprays and puts out that wildfire, you guys. I mean, look at this thing. It's such an interesting, very kind of future-oriented design. Even the wheels are different. I've never seen anything quite like this before, you guys. This is definitely the fire truck of the future, and this is a wildfire truck. Oh yeah, we have definitely got our most over-the-top fire truck of the day, you guys. Check this out. This is an ARF truck. <laughs> yeah, that's right. An ARF truck. It kind of sounds like a little dog barking. ARF, ARF. <laughs> well, this is actually the Colette K30E Jaguar. And ARF, which is an acronym, stands for Airport Rescue and Firefighting. Now these are a very specific kind of fire truck that mainly exist at airports. Now one of their biggest assets is that they're really fast and highly maneuverable. And check it out you guys, they're actually a 6x6 design. So you got three tires, one, two, three on one side, and then three more tires, four, five, six on the other. Very cool stuff. It actually holds 3,000 gallons of water, and check it out, has a very long, very accurate hose which can spray water on those giant planes. And it's gonna need all 3,000 gallons because you know, some of those planes are really, really big. And if you can see here in the front, it has a super large, almost like a wraparound window to give great visibility to the driver because at any given point in time, you got a lot of moving parts at an airport. And are you ready for this? Price tag on one of these bad boys. These are gonna run you about a million bucks. Hello! <laughs> this, you guys, is an ARF truck. Oh boy, we have got our last 
fire truck of the day and ugh, whoa, <laughs> this one is really, really big. Well, this, you guys, is a hook and ladder truck. Oh man, this thing is cool. I'm gonna come in for a real slow scan so you can take in all the details. Now, this is another one of the very many specialized vehicles of the fire department. Now, it's unique because it actually has two steering wheels and two drivers. Now, of course, one of the drivers sits right up front here and he or she will control this wheel right here. Now, in the back, there's kind of like a cockpit. Somebody else will sit back there. There's another steering wheel and they'll control these wheels in the back. Now, this allows it to make extremely sharp turns and get into really tight spaces. Now, also what's great is because of its sheer size, which is <laughs> almost 50 feet long, it allows it to hold lots of tools and supplies needed to fight those fires, you guys. Yeah, really, really cool stuff. And as you can see here on the top, whoa, <laughs> that is a massive, massive ladder. Now, I wanna go in again right here tight on the side. You can see this one is from San Luis Obispo which is a cute, small little city, kind of kind of located about halfway between LA and San Francisco, you guys. Really, really great stuff. And of course, we're always so thankful for the brave work by the men and women of your local fire department. Great stuff. And this is a hook and ladder truck. Oh yeah, wow, we had an amazing time today going over all these awesome fire trucks. If you'd like a special shout out like Matthew, you can get all the information in the description box below, along with links to our Twitter and Instagram pages. So much fun, can't wait, and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, did you hear that Big Al's gonna be driving through town? <laughs> If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and leave a fun comment below. Thanks everybody.